Good morning. Listen, I feel it's a privilege to be here this morning. I appreciate so much the work that NDC has done. My name is Robert Veal. I'm the president and CEO of Heart of the City here in Louisville. Our family has been in Louisville since the 1950s, myself since the 1960s. And so I'm very familiar with what all has happened in our community, but I'm also very proud to be part of a community that looks forward and sees the need and is not afraid to address it. Now, what we've been talking about here today are a lot of things related to, to housing. And agreed, there is a great need in our community for affordable housing, for the right type of housing that's needed. But there's also a, a bigger need, and I think we identified that toward the end of the program. It's a sociological need. And uh, it's a need that uh, basically housing is a, is a byproduct of the sociological challenge that's there where people aren't to the point of being able to provide financially for their families. In fact, the organization I work with, the majority of people we're serving currently are from Venezuela. They come, they're educated, they're ready to work, but they're just not able to do that yet. And so we're going to try to find some, some uh, avenues to help assist them. But in that, I want to also say that I'm part of an organization, part of the city, that's a, it's a public charity here in Louisville. Uh, we're kind of like CCA, kind of like Salvation Army, except we're the new guys in town. In fact, we were just uh, incorporated in 2019. However, we actually come from a long history of service in the Denton County area. In fact, it started in 1964 when we began serving the community. And Jim Angel at that time was a pastor at Lakeland Baptist Church and saw a need in our community for us to be planted on the northeast side of Louisville. You saw that in many of the slides. Sides, slides. That's a, a lower income area. That's an area actually where Spanish-speaking immigrants are also located. And back in 1997, we determined as, a, as an organization to stay planted there in that community and serve that neighborhood to the best of our abilities. Now, taking it back, 1964, this organization was founded. In the 1970s, uh, the pastor of Northview Baptist Church actually was part of a committee that was called uh, Keeping Louisville Clean Committee. And then in 1981, our current pastor, Ken Wells, he has served for 41 years as the chaplain of the Louisville Police Department and the Louisville Fire Department. And so we're very ingrained in our community. We're very, we want to be a part of helping our community. And so in 19, I'm sorry, in 2019, this when part of the city was birthed out of Northview Baptist Church as its own nonprofit organization. We do three things. We do free food, free clothing, clothing and free life skills coaching. But as a part of that, we also try to help families get acclimated to living in the greater Louisville area. The reason why we say that is sometimes Louisville may not be the right place for them to live immediately if they can't afford to live here. In the same way, I know I could not move into Highland Park, Dallas. All right? I had to make a change sociologically to be able to live. And so we're helping these families do that. And one way we do that is through a program called Thrive Counseling. And we do life skills coaching, but most recently, we were able to secure uh, an agreement and a contract. And you show that on here. One of the greatest needs in our community right now is mental health assistance. And a lot of the sociological challenges that are facing these families, and the reason why they can't get into some of these homes, is they're sociologically not ready to provide for the financial support needed to get into the homes here in Louisville. So with that, we have now contracted with one of the largest Metroplex Counseling Services. The name of the group is called Logos Counseling Services. And we're able to actually provide some scholarship funds to help families go through about eight sessions of these counseling programs to get them traversed and moving them from surviving to thriving and being able to thrive in our community and being able to afford some of the houses we've been talking about. Now, growing up here, uh, when we moved here in the 60s, I lived in a mobile home, so I can understand that. But also, we have apartments, we have all kinds of houses available. And it's just a matter of helping our people increase their income base and their education base to be able to, to provide and to live in the houses that are available. And uh, so I want to offer Heart of the City to you as a community. I want to offer our services to you guys as you move forward and look into Louisville for 2025 to let you know that we're committed Heart of the City is committed to Louisville, has been since 1964, and we're here to partner with you. And anything we can do to help, we'd be glad to do that. Again, that need came straight from the city of Louisville. One of the greatest problems was mental health awareness. 
part of the city has addressed this by this new organization we brought on board, and we'll be glad to help you guys in any way we can. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? And have we got anything online right now? Is, would anyone like to tackle any of these questions right here? I think, um, sir, you addressed the, the issue related to prior to prioritizing um, and certainly mental health being one of those things that the city should prioritize. Um, any comments especially related to priorities, whether it's um, just funding overall or certain areas of the, the city? I think you mentioned Northeast Louisville. Um, certainly, uh, you can see that in a lot of that, the maps that that may be an area where the city should focus some of its resources. All right, well, I don't want to keep people here longer. We really have appreciated um, all of your uh, attention today, and certainly if you have any questions afterwards. Um, the last thing I wanted to uh, just talk about briefly, as I mentioned, we have the community needs assessment, and uh, you can go to the City of Louisville website, search for five-year community um, development plan, um, and you'll be able to find the link to the survey as well as our website that is going to have additional resources. It'll have a copy of this presentation. Uh, I just realized that my numbering is a little bit off on that. We'll change that before we post it on the website. Um, we have a public hearing tonight with the city council just to open up um, the formal community feedback process related to the community development um, plan as well as the assessment of fair housing. So you're welcome to attend any of those meetings. Um, and then uh, Ashley, who is here today, is the point person for um, all of the feedback that we're soliciting. So if you don't feel comfortable or don't want to provide your feedback within the survey, and you want to have a conversation with her, or email her. Um, her email address is here, and it's also on the website. So really would appreciate it, um, especially with the community needs assessment for folks who are not able to make it to meetings like this. If you can share um, the link to the um, community needs assessment with them so that we can get their, their feedback. Really appreciate it, and thank you.